Our one minute read this week is going to be about Helen Keller, Triumph Over Tragedy. Helen Keller was born on June 27, 1880. She was a healthy baby at first, then she got sick. She had a high fever. Helen almost died. The fever went away after many days, but Helen was not the same. She was now deaf and blind. The next few years were very hard. Helen was angry. She cried and threw things on the floor. She grabbed food off people's plates. Her parents did not know what to do. They asked an expert for help. He was Alexander Graham Bell. Bell had invented the telephone, but he also worked with deaf children. Bell told Helen's parents to hire a special teacher for Helen. Helen's parents wrote to a special school. It was the Perkins School for the Blind. They asked for a special teacher to come work with Helen. On March 3, 1887, Annie Sullivan came to live at the Keller's home. Annie told Helen's parents that Helen must learn to behave. She said that it wasn't fair to let, let Helen act wild. The kind thing to do would be to teach Helen. Annie showed Helen how to eat with a spoon and a fork. Most important of all, Annie taught Helen, word, Helen words by spelling them into her hand. At first, Helen did not understand. Her teacher never gave up. One day, Annie poured water over Helen's hand. Then she spelled the word water into Helen's hand. Finally, Helen understood. She understood that words had meaning. That day was the turning point for Helen. From then on, she began to learn quickly. Helen learned to read using raised letters. Later, she learned to read Braille. Helen also learned to write. She used a special typewriter. Annie Sullivan continued to help Helen. Helen Keller went to college. The college was Radcliffe College in Boston. Helen was the first deaf and blind person to earn a degree from Radcliffe. The story of Helen Keller and her teacher, Annie Sullivan, is a famous one. Many books, plays, and movies tell their story.